For this week's Northern Michigan in Focus, Corey Adkins is taking us to the remote shore of Lake Superior, where a lighthouse group is trying to fix a problem before it becomes unmanageable. The tower just welcomes you. It, it is, just shines and, I mean, it does everything a, a lighthouse is supposed to do. So it is definitely a beacon. It's one of Michigan's most remote on-land lighthouses. The energy for me personally is amazing. It's just a, a really nice place to visit. It is a little challenging, like you'd mentioned, to get there. It is 18 miles off of uh, M123 north of Newberry, north of Tequamanon Falls area. And it's been standing on the shore of Lake Superior since 1876, facing all the wind, the waves, and the weather that Superior can throw at it. Now, the Chris Point Lighthouse needs help. At this point, there are moisture concerns. What's happening to the lighthouse is called spalling. Because of that, the water and the, the environmental uh, mechanical and, and chemical erosion that occurs, those bricks are freezing and then they are, when they thaw, they pop. As that freezing and thawing cycle continues, they just keep popping and so spalling just basically means they're deteriorating. So the Chris Point Lighthouse Preservation Society wanted to get ahead of the problem and applied for and got a grant through Michigan's Lighthouse Assistance Program. So the funding will be used to replace the bricks that have deteriorated, as well as um, replace the coating on the exterior of the tower. We are a 501c3 nonprofit corporation. So we run our entire organization full of volunteers off of donations. So any donations are welcome, but we totally enjoy visitors. We have keepers out there during the season. We'll be opening May 15th, and we welcome everyone from all over the world. Just the TLC, the old light needs to stay standing and shining for another century. The sunsets are amazing. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Adkins.